Hi, I'm Megan, and I play a mean game of Scrabble, especially timed Scrabble. I've, it's something that I've loved for a long time. I'm very good at Jeopardy, <laughs> and I love to cook. I don't know if a lot of people know that. Maybe they do, but I also make a really solid bolognese sauce. I think within the industry, what we can do to help pay it forward for the generation coming up next is really to implement policies that are gonna help families and people within the industry be able to have the balance to take care of their families and to be able to do their jobs. A high tide raises all ships. So if you can really adopt that motto and understand that by helping the people who are coming up, it's not taking anything away from you. It's just helping more people succeed. I think that's really key. Harry, you're gonna have to try and find a way of not expressing every feeling that you have, every moment that you have them. My favorite rom-com of all time is When Harry Met Sally, but you put Julia Roberts in anything and I'm gonna be a fan of those too. Yeah, I think we all miss just a really good, a good laugh. I just want a good old fashioned rom-com. What are you and your husband watching together? So once we've gotten the kids to bed and I've played a little Wordle or done my 10 minutes of Duolingo. <laughs> I really wanted to relearn French. I had studied it for the four years in high school and then it just went away. So after those two things, if we do turn on the TV, which is fairly rare, I think we're like most people where you just do endless, endless, endless searching until you get so tired of searching you don't watch anything. No, but there are a couple, I mean, there's some incredible shows on at the moment and I think really watching great storytelling, there's nothing like it. So I would say White Lotus was a pretty good example of that. So our kids, well, I mean, Lily is only one, so she doesn't watch TV, but Archie, he's loved Octonauts for a really long time. It's amazing because he's getting into more throwback shows like Magic Magic School Bus. Who would have thought? He thinks it's great. And so that's been pretty fun to sort of see it again through his eyes. And StoryBots is fantastic. It is such great educational programming for kids that's fun. So many good songs. And I've become that mom where I'm like sitting around with friends and I start singing like, Tyrannosaurus, that's the chorus, Tyrannosaurus. I was like, what am I singing? Oh my gosh, I'm singing StoryBots. I'm singing Storybots. I am not singing Beyonce in that moment. I'm singing Storybots. Tyrannosaurus, that's the chorus. Tyrannosaurus. Okay, welcome to Archetypes. Let's do this. You ready? So Archetypes is my podcast that we just launched recently. And it's really about dissecting and unboxing these labels and these tropes that try to hold women back and define women as a one note human being but no human being is one note. So in the conversations I'm having with the women on this show, we really get to peel back the layers and remind ourselves that it's important and okay and perfectly normal to be a multifaceted human being. And we laugh and we have a lot of fun, but we also, I think, dig a lot deeper than some of us have been allowed to before. I think in moments of challenge or when you're trying to dig deeper into these conversations, it can be very heavy part of what I find a lot of strength or faith in. Just looking at my kids, I know it sounds so cheesy, but my gosh, it's the most perspective building thing. And also I think recognizing that everything is temporary to really just enjoy what time we have here, what we're doing with that time, and at least open the door for really meaningful conversation. Because I think once you turn meaningful conversation into action, game changer.